Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. We are just finishing up getting ready to go out. We are still in Bertaset in Yorkshire, in the Yorkshire Dales, and we had some plans today and I've just kind of changed them last minute. I was just having a look online. Oh, I just need to finish paying. I've just been buying tickets online for Bolton Castle that we're gonna go instead of what our original plans were. To get to Bolton Castle, it's only about I don't know, it was like 15 minutes or so away from where we're staying. But I was just like kind of Googling what there is around here to do. And I saw this, uh, what was it called? Butter tub, the Butter Tubs Pass, which apparently is, on this website it says it has the rather dubious accolade of being Jeremy Clarkson's favorite road in the UK. So I figured it might be quite fun to go and see it and drive along it. it means that we're going to go along the long way round to the castle it's going to take us potentially like an hour to get there so we are just about to leave now hopefully Stephen will be able to vlog some uh, some of the butter tubs pass so we're on our way we've just seen a sign that says butter tubs pass is closed but it was kind of like moved to the side so we're not sure if it's closed or open we're going to continue on and see see if it is we can always just turn around if we get there and it is closed so let's hope let's hope i think we're on for a tub pass now it doesn't seem to be that it is closed a fast car's just come down seems like i don't think it's closed turn around see shut off because i show the view but we've just when we go past maybe you can see the view in a second It's open and we'll be able to have a little dive along it. We're pretty high up. Excuse me, Mr. Sheep. Beep beep. <laughs> I don't think this road is going to be used by anyone. I'm kind of blocking it. But wow, look at this. Amazing. It's pretty spectacular. Right. I'm going to continue on with our drive. There's the castle in the distance. We're nearly there. We're here. We're going in. Let's go. We're doing one carrier, one walk-in. See how we go with that. <laughs> Stephen's going to carry if need be. We're going to go in the castle. You have to pay for it. I was doing the castle and the grounds and garden and everything. I was nine pound. Stephen was seven fifty. Under fives are free. Only we opened yesterday, apparently. So we came at the right time. You got a rock. Oh, up we go. Oh, lots of steps. Is it the same rock? <laughs> We're in. We're gonna go down here. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, courtyard. Oh, yes, yeah, so she said go down. They've got a one way system in place, so we have to kind of figure it out. Oh, look, first floor in 1399. Interesting. Whoa. Oh, it's the kitchen. Look, they're having their tea. Got a fireplace. Well, be worth <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head down. Please call up and down. Hello? Anybody coming up? No. <laughs> We're safe. Oh, swirly steps. Yeah, no, we couldn't have, couldn't have done a buggy. Of course we couldn't have done a buggy in a castle. <gasps> We're going outside. Um, I don't know any castle. No. It's <laughs> really well. Oh, what can 
Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. The road in, is it? Oh yeah. Look, we found a secret little. We go through here. It's like a little toilet. Don't boo me. Stephen's found the garden. Out into the courtyard. Whoa. They have um, archery demonstrations every day. What time is today's? 1.45. We're not sure whether we'll be here for that, but probably be pretty cool. Oh, should we go through here? Up these stairs? Great hall. Oh, there's a dungeon over this way, Stephen. Oh, this is the tower. Whoa. Oh, is that a staircase? Oh. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna put you in. I can't, I've got a child on my back. Look, I'll lift it up for you. And then. Whoa! <laughs> oh, are you in? I think it is. What? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Look at Stephen! Let's go. If you watch, can you not get can you not get your hand out with your watch? If your watch is off, okay. I mean, I might. I and don't. then you think you can get your head out? How do you get a watch off? Oh. How? Pull it. What do you mean pull? Pull it out with the. Oh, okay. Oh, you try, that's why my. That's why <laughs> <laughs> it's locked. Oh, well, that's locked. <laughs> <laughs> pull the, the flat bit, pull it up. Like, no, where you were at the bottom. <laughs> there, pull that. Like, yeah. <laughs> now nah, you should be. <laughs> it's locked. It's really locked. <laughs> No, I can imagine it. I can imagine it's really hard. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you got out. <laughs> Did it? Should we go in the dungeon? Please mind the steps. Oh, we're going. We're going up to the dungeon. That wasn't what I expected. In there. Ooh, it's dark in here. Oh yeah, dungeon. Look at the gardens. We're going to Mark the Castle, we're going to the birds of prey display. Don't see anyone like setting up for birds of prey. Down there do you think? Come on! <laughs> There's loads of steps. Do you think we can get in that maze? Well we might be able to get in, we might not be able to get out. If you do so, please don't freak out. Don't be nervous, don't jump, because if you get spooked, you freak out, you'll scare the birds, and it'll take you several hours to get them back. <laughs> what is it? Is it we saw, yeah. You can go now if you want to. You can not sit on it. a break from Bolton Castle and we're just sitting and having our picnic that I made earlier this morning. We've had our lunch, we're going to head back into the castle and do the upper floors now. How do you get any further up than this? Oh no, I think it's like this way, up this tower. There was some stairs when we came in. I think so. Oh no, Stephen dropped everything. Yeah. Whoa. Look at the view. Like, oh, don't freak me out. Don't freak me out. 
We didn't go in the maze. What's in there? Nothing. A bedroom. Oh yeah. More stairs. Oh, and then we can't go. Oh, wow. They're blocked. Oh, look at this. Oh, Bolton Castle model. Yeah, to stop you from... Oh. Tried to write Sarah. Didn't do a very good job of that. This is Mary Queen of Scots bedchamber. Look, that I'm kind of freaked out. Very high. I'm very freaked out. Oh, that man right up at the top there. No, okay. Right. All done. That was a good little trip. I'm going to head back in the car now and we're going to Hawes. We're here at Wensleydale Creamery in Hawes. The cheese shop. Oh, the 1897. I'm confused. Cheese shop. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, so that's just like the normal shop, and then you go through. Ah, oh, okay, I understand. Not like hot, like. Oh, it is cold. Fruit cake. Stephen's cheese and some. Yeah, I had like a triangle or a block. I think, I think I'd get a triangle. I don't know, I think I will. Yeah. This is Hawes. It's absolutely rammed with bikers. Craziness. I'm not sure, I really want any. Yeah. just back at the cottage for a little while the kids are having a little bit of a sleep well one of them is anyway i am just cooking up some tea i think we're gonna have a well i think early tea the plan was early tea but time's kind of gotten away with me a little bit uh, a semi early tea and then i think the weather is gonna be like it's getting nicer and nicer as the evening goes on so we're gonna go out after tea don't know where what for we might just go like go and sit outside on the grass where just the, this cottage hasn't got any like outdoor space of its own so we may just eat here and then just go we might go for one day we might just go and sit on some grass somewhere and kids can play in the in the nice weather we are eating tea i'm pretty stuffed we're just getting ready in fact i think we're ready are we all ready to go we're just gonna have a little wander we're gonna go up to the grass and go and see the horses you're not knocking no no you're inside, you only knock when you're on the outside. Right, should we go? Wanna go see the horses? We're back over at the ho oh they're coming. <gasps> He's coming to see us. Hello. Oh look, he's coming over. Oh no, got an itch. He's got an itch. 
Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> Are you saying hi? Hi! It's funny, it's from Patrick. <laughs> yeah. mm, this patch of grass looks nicer. Is that what you want? Oh, hello, he's come to see us. You want to get down? Do you want to go see? Oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the... Oh. Where can I get this itch? Oh, no, we're getting... <laughs> oh. Well, you got it. Do you want us to give you some? Oh. Wow. Wow. Did you feed him? Oh. Have you ever known a sheep? We've never known a sheep in all our life. Like, come to the post to get you. It was like over there. And he's come over to see us. I've never known a sheep do that. Oh. Oh. Hi. Wow. <laughs> it is the next morning pretty early about five past ten past seven kids are just having their breakfast in front of me hello <laughs> thinking what's this crazy lady doing talking to the camera checkout time is 10 so i'm mean, steven will probably sleep into like half past eight ish so i'm just gonna pack up get stuff all gathered together i think we managed we ate most of the food that we brought which was really good if you didn't see the video on a couple of videos on friday when i was packing i was complaining about all this fresh food that we had in the house and how i was gonna have to bring it bring it with us actually i'm so glad that that was the case because it ended up that i brought like bread and cooked potatoes and pasta and stuff and that's just fed us i don't know what i'd have done if that wasn't the case i think i would have come without food and then we'd have had to have gone shopping whilst we're here it was so much better having just everything with us we haven't needed to go shopping at all since we arrived so it's just been one less thing to have to do so definitely going forward that's what i'm going to do if we come away for like a couple of nights for a weekend shop at home and bring it all with us it's so much easier to do it that way but for now it is pack up time Putting down a cot bed, it's not easy, is it? <laughs> now I don't understand how to do it. I don't think I've ever put one down before. Not a cot bed, a travel cot. I don't think I've ever put one down before. <laughs> that was a bit difficult. Stephen's up. We are all packed and ready to go. Car's all packed up. You got it? Done. Key back in the box. Of all the times in your life when you expect a good old fashioned countdown, a rocket launcher is one of them. You can see this. We're back home. We've been home for about 10 minutes and I've got the kids are eating their lunch. I have got some cheese sauce on the way. I've started to make some bread. Busy, busy, busy. I've got some appointments this afternoon for fostering. But we had a wonderful time. It was so nice just to get away. Did you have a nice time, Stephen? Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? It was good. I was surprised, to be honest, how much of a, a good time we did have. The place that we stayed in was an Airbnb and fantastic. Honestly, the place was one of the best places that we stayed in in terms of facilities, just like cooking stuff and whatever. It was fantastic. If you are not already a member of Airbnb, my link is down below in the description. You can get 25, I think it's 25 pounds off your first stay if you click on that link. I don't think, like with young children, it's just it's fantastic just staying in houses and things i don't think i'd stay anywhere else so thank you so much for watching the last couple of videos of our little time away in yorkshire and we'll see you soon bye <laughs>